Good morning, Mustangs. I'm Zach Fries. And I'm Elisa Solis. And, and you're, you're watching, watching LCTV, LCTV right, right here, here right, right now. now. It is Friday, February 7th, 2020, and it's National Bubblegum Day. Now let's get right to the news. It's a big night for our Lady Mustang basketball players. Come out at 7 p.m. to support our senior night. Congrats to Virginia Liu on her rodeo art. It is currently up for auctions and she has a big chance of winning scholarship money. This week's show is celebrating Black History Month. Let's turn to Logan and Yudana with interesting facts about Black History Month. Today we'll be discussing some rather interesting facts about some lovely African American folks. So let's jump straight in. If you've heard of the Lone Ranger before, you should know something. The Lone Ranger was inspired by an African American man named Bryce Reeves. Also, a runaway slave named Tice David swam across the Ohio River, and his owner thought Davids had died, and said that if Davids escaped, he must have used an underground railroad, making a name for runaway slaves. Have you heard of the Fultz sisters? Yes, the first surviving identical African American quadruplets. Also, if you like lawnmowers, air conditioning, refrigerators, and cell phones, and even hairbrushes, you should thank some amazing African American inventors. We hope you enjoyed these facts. We also encourage everyone to do with their own research in all black history. Now back to the studio. I wonder what they're doing over there. Thanks, ladies. Now we're joined to Juan and Zach with Who Inspired Mustangs the Most Growing Up? I'm here with. Alicia. Black influence, black influence, black influence. Uh, honestly, I'm going with Kobe Bryant. Are the parks? I don't care about influence. Really, since I've been introduced to basketball, which was second grade, so that's uh, eight years of time. I'm going to catch the influence. Ever since I found out about it. Or, then who is it? Rock Obama. <laughs> Now let's go to Alicia and Anya's Black History Month trivia. Where is Black History Month celebrated? In the U.S. <laughs> and? Uh, I don't know. Where else? The U.K.? <laughs> I don't know. Where? What countries? What two countries? There's two countries that Black History Month is celebrated in February. America and not Africa. No, no. No, America and Canada. Oh, okay. Two countries. United States? Mm hmm. Don't know. <laughs> no, America and then, uh, I don't know, Canada? Correct. Who was the first man to play major league in baseball? Is it number 42? What's the name? Jackie Robinson. Uh, 42. Uh, let's uh, redo it. Um, what's his name? 42. Um. Thanks. Now let's turn to Jaquela and Lizzie with info on Coach Ross's new class. What is the class African American Studies about? So African American Studies will be offered as an elective. It pretty much uh, encompasses the struggle from the beginning of Africanism all the way through to today and the accomplishments that many African Americans had to endure. Um, it is offered as an elective and it won't be taught as, an, um, as a history course per se, so don't think of it as a, another U.S. history course because that is really what we're tarred, like what we're getting away from. How long have you been wanting to teach this class? Um, I had the idea to teach it probably about two years ago. Um, it was really sparked after, wait, what were two, well, I wanted to teach it two years ago, but after I had Mustang time and I was able to you know, do a little bit with that, it um, kind of generated a lot of interest. So I kind of took off with that and put in a proposal to teach it and shockingly it really got approved so I'm super excited about that. Why do you tend to take the African American studies? Because I like to get to know more about our culture and what we care from, how do we get away from slavery. I feel like there's something to understand. I would like to know more. Thanks ladies. Don't forget to register for classes on Skyward. Finally, let's turn it up a little bit with Mari and Katura's rap about Rosa Parks. Let's do it. 
Rosa Rebel got these police heated, wouldn't get up because she felt cheated. Sex, Gregory, she made boss feel defeated, but Rosa stood up for the way they retreated. Rosa Rebel got these police heated, wouldn't get up because she felt cheated. Sex, Gregory, she made boss feel defeated, but Rosa stood up for the way they retreated. Rosa was fighting for equality, fighting for rights for you and me. She even wrote an autobiography about getting cheated unequally. All blacks wanted was to be seen, to sit on a bus without people being mean, to ride peacefully without them harassing, to blend in without people bashing. It all started started in 1955, Rosa couldn't put her pride aside. All she wanted was a bus ride, but where she sat promptly got denied. The jailhouse is where she ended up, but by this time, blacks had enough. Everybody rallied up. Because of this, we got our rights and stuff. Thanks to Rosa, life's forever changed. We can live without being shamed. Life has since never been the same. Thank you, Rosa, for everything. That's all for this week, Mustangs. You can always catch our show and other stories from our Mustang Media staff by visiting lcjsmustangmedia.com. From all of us here at LCTV, I'm Zach Fries. And I'm Elisa Solis. We are we Americans, Americans, we are Mustangs, and yes, we are the future. future.